we talk with pride in California about uh, being a state of dreamers, of doers, of entrepreneurs, of innovators, uh, a state that long has prided itself on being on the leading and cutting edge. Uh, and that's why we're here today at Bloom. The state of California, for example, had 514 ventilators that hadn't been looked at uh, and unboxed since 2011. As a consequence, we sent down uh, a few hundred of our ventilators and asked uh, Bloom and its CEO, KR and Susan, a COO here and said, what can you do uh, to help us in this crisis. March 17th, St. Patrick's Day, uh, that we made those first calls. And here you see behind me uh, hundreds of these that have already been turned around. 80 were sent back and refurbished. Uh, yesterday were sent back to the state for distribution across the state. I have spent the last 90 minutes here being amazed. When the governor put out a call, put out a challenge, and he understood in Silicon Valley all we need is a challenge and a deadline. And great entrepreneurs respond, and that's what we've seen uh, from KR and Susan and their teams, the folks behind me working unbelievable hours because they understand the urgency of this moment. Uh, and, you know, this isn't just a story about brilliant minds. It's about inspired hearts. And I am so just so enheartened by what I have seen uh, from the incredible people behind me who are working all hours and finding whatever creative way they can to make things work. What did we do uh, is simply answer a call as a state, as Silicon Valley, as employees, as, as every human being here in the state. We breathe that can-do attitude. I don't care how difficult this problem is. We will solve it, and when we look back, it's only going to happen because we have this can-do attitude, and the can-do attitude defeated the virus.